I've got to tell you guys, selling the cruiser isn't going very well. I might end up keeping it. Um, not that I really mind, because I do love the vehicle. So, I really want to talk about the Egon um, DC hub that um, Andrew, is it John Pierre White and, um, and Heiner from Perth Pro Auto Electrics. I tell you what, if you ever want to do anything, guys, and um, go in there and look at it, they've got everything you need. They'll give you all the advice you need. So the Egon Hub was a conception that um, Andrew, is it Andrew Pierre White? Um, I don't know whether they've got their name, but um, and um, Heiner from Perth, Perth Pro Auto Electrics came up with the concept. Now, I installed about two years ago, and I've got to tell you, it's the, one of the best things I've done electrically, and I'll explain that why. Um, and I'll give as best explanation I can on, on, the, DC, on the Egon uh, DC hub. I'm surprised nobody else had done it before. But if I get another vehicle, I'm going to put one in again. And if I have the need for it, they have a, a relay hub. Similar configuration to centralise all your relays in one location. But let's get on with it. I'm going to pull this cover off because the reflection in there isn't letting you see the board. But um, let's get the cover off and have a look at it and um, a bit of a talk about it because it really is a, a bit of a mastermind thing and I'm surprised no one else has done it. But I'll explain how I've used it and um, I'll explain, you know, why I think it's such a such a good thing. But Let's have a bit of a review of it. I had it in about two years and I've been wanting to review this for a little while now because I think it's worth worth a review. So I've pulled the Perspex cover off and it's much easier to see now. So, so my battery is mounted in the back here and we can see these two main cables. It's not the tightest wiring job, I've got to admit. I need to tidy it up. But there's two main supplies now. One supply, the two smaller gauge cables, they go to my dual um, dual ARB compressor, and the two heavy ones, which are fused down here on the battery. So we can see up here on the opposite side coming through the wall, we can see those two cables that go into this output here. And this output is designed for high loads, such as compressors. So they go straight into the output there. This is the input from the battery. So negative and positive from the battery, but the fuse of the battery don't forget as well. Um, in fact, from the battery to the shunt, they're from the shunt into the unit. That's the power supply, the 12 volt power supply from the battery that goes into the DC hub. So that's the only power supply you need to come into the DC hub. And for me, that's the beauty of it, because instead of having cables running everywhere with into maybe a huge bank or whatever, you only have that one supply. The main supply from the battery goes into the uh, DC hub, and that's basically what it is. It now um, acts as a hub, and all your terminations now go from there. Now, not as, in my case, Now in my case, I suppose it saved me, I suppose, I'm just trying to think. Well, in my case, it did save me a bit of wiring, but most of my gear is pretty close to the battery, so not necessarily to save me a lot of wiring, but it saved me a lot of mucking around in termination. And I'll explain that now. And I just love the way it's so easy to set up and so easy to wire things. And when you do have some wiring issues, uh, blowing fuses or whatever, it is much, much easier to identify where the issue is. So, so now if we have a closer look at the DC hub, you see, like I said, we've got our inputs there. I might get a pointer, actually. So you can see, like I said, there's a 12-foot power supply comes in. Now from here, these outputs, and they're ranked at different maxes. So this bank here is, if I can see it, so this bank here is rated 25 amps. This bank here is rated 25 amps. I think that's an 80 amp rating there. And I also believe that's an input 80 amp as well. And then you have your other inputs up here. So there's a start battery input. If your start battery is coming directly to here. 
there's other inputs here one is solar one is DC DC input so what you can see now is the DC DC connection has the run from the battery that goes straight to the DC DC but the cable just comes out there and goes into here and consequently that's configured so that that'll push the charge straight back into the battery so what you have here is you have your fuses for any of these inputs or outputs all located here in the DC hub. The other nice thing, and you see this a lot on, on fuse banks now, is they have the lights in there and the light will come on when one of those fuses is blown. Or if you have a power supply connected up and it's not fused, that'll show like a blown fuse also. Now the DC hub is rated 150 amps, so I run a 150 amp fuse for the input to the DC hub. And from here I have lights, I have my fridge, more lights, other bits and bobs that go to different things. So all these lines and channels, inputs and outputs that you have, they all terminate through here. And all drawers, apart from the compressor, all drawers from the battery all come through the DC hub and the only supply you need from your battery is just the two is just the positive and the negative running through the shunt of course it's the other beauty of this is you know where all your fuses are there's no inline fuses you have to worry about anymore the only inline fuse you have to worry about is from this supply to the Egon hub and also the battery that I have for the DC DC on the vehicle battery. It's a very easy setup to put in place. It's an easy setup to do. It's easy to mount. Heiner um, from Perth Pro Electrics, Auto Electrics. They got videos online. If you go onto YouTube and uh, and search for Egon Hub, they got all the videos there you need to assist you on how to wire them up. But it's a great piece of kit. I highly recommend it and I'll certainly be putting one in my next field vehicle because it's just so easy to um, wire things in. You save a whole load of wiring. All your terminations are in one place. And if you have to, you know, if you want to remove something or replace something new, you know where the cable is and where it's terminated and, and where the fusing is for it as well. So very happy with this piece of kit. It was expensive, I thought, when I first bought it. But having said that, I don't know what the price on them is now. It's been two years since I bought this. They may have gone up a little bit. They may have come down a little bit. I don't know. You'd have to talk to Perth Pro Auto Electrics about that. But go in there. Have a talk to the guys in there. Specifically Heiner, if he's about. He's more than happy to help you out. And they have this on display, which will give you all everything you need to know. And you can ask about wiring him in. That's the review on the... That's the two year review on the Egon uh, DC hub. One more look at it before I put the cover back on. But uh, for me, it's worth its weight in gold. So that's about it, team. That's the uh, Egon DC DC hub. I'll put a link to, um, I think they're called Perth Pro Auto Electrics. I'll put a link to them anyway in the comments so you can, so you can jump in there and have a look. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this mini review. Remember, if you like what you see, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed and then you're following some of my channels and you, you know you're thinking you might be liking what's coming along, hit the subscribe button, hit the all so you get all the new notifications of any new content or any changes. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Look after each other. Take care. Be kind and humble. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, team.